What is up crafters? Today we are taking a look at the ultimate rewards plugin or technically star emoji ultimate rewards 20 plus available reward types including advent calendar 1.8 to 1.21.4. This plugin adds multiple different types of rewards including streak rewards, timed rewards, one time rewards, vote rewards, and much much more. So in this video, I'll show you the basics of ultimate rewards and then I'll give my thoughts at the end. Now this is a premium plugin, but there is a free version we'll take a look at as well. I was given access to the premium version for making this video from the developer, but all thoughts are my own. You don't own me, Hollywood. All right, well, let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing that you will want to do is actually download ultimate rewards. You can also get the free version, which we'll look at later. So you can just go ahead and download now, and then that will download the jar to your computer. Then you'll want to head over to your server, go into your file manager, go into your plugins folder, and then you can just go ahead and upload it into there. Okay, now just because like I don't know how computers work, there we go. I dragged it in there, see? And now we can go ahead and start or restart our server. Three days later. All right, so here we can see that our server has started up successfully and we can see like ultimate rewards right here. So that means we know it's loaded. We can even type like PL and see that it, it, it's over here. I have other plugins, okay? Doesn't matter. So now we can go ahead and join our server and we can check it out a little bit. Okay, so here we are in game and the base command for the plugin is slash reward. So we open it up and we're greeted with this menu with all these different chests. So we're just going to go through these and take a look at all these different types of rewards and claim as many as we can. So right here, here we have time rewards. So we need the ultimate rewards example time reward permission. So I'm lacking that. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use this and same thing right here. But this is the premium version. So you can have like one for default players and one for premium players that has like better loot. And then over here we have vote rewards. So if you have voting set up on your server, then you can use this plugin to give players rewards for voting. And then, oh, yeah, we can see like our different vote sites it'll send us. So then right here we have referral rewards so you can like set up referrals for players and then they can get more people to join the server and then they get items if those people do so to create a referral you can basically just create your own referral and I don't have permission for that. I'm going to give myself permissions quickly. There we go. I have permissions now. So now we can go ahead and create my own referral and I already have created my own referral I guess. Okay. So once I invite five more people and they use my referral code, which to enter that is you just click right here and then they would enter in crafted Croy since that's my silly username, but I can't use my own obviously. And then right here we have purchasable rewards. So if you have enough experience, then you can purchase this and you can also repurchase it, I guess. And then right here we have fixed rewards. So you can cl claim this every day after 6 p.m. So I can go ahead and claim that and look at all this good stuff that I got. And then right here we have renewable vote rewards. Collect this through votes. And then we have some more referrals basically. So you just keep renewing that, I guess. And then right here we have limited time rewards. So this is available from these two time periods. So I'm just going to go ahead and claim that. And then right here we have streak rewards. So every day this basically encourages people to log in consecutively and they get hooked on joining your server and they just keep playing and playing. And then right here we have playtime rewards. So once I play for about seven hours, then it will give me access to that and I can claim it. And then one time rewards. So this is basically like you can claim it one time, hence the name. So I get all this good stuff. And then they even have an advent calendar. So. This only works like during December, obviously. Thankfully, it's December, so I can show this off. So I can just go ahead and claim all of this. There's actually like a cool menu you can get for this. It's a little late now since it's December 14th and there are only 10 days left. I just did like math crazy fast like that. Okay, so then we got streak fixed rewards. So there we go and claim that. And then it resets every day at 6 p.m. And then you have playtime rewards. I've not played enough. Oh, there we go. I guess I have. And then we have streak vote rewards more with voting. And then we even have pickable rewards. So this is kind of cool. You can just like pick what you want and then it's available in time. I can't see it though. My cursor is covering it up. And yeah, then you can also toggle some settings. So like if you want notifications of when they can be collected, then you can toggle that and we can see that it also sends a message. And then there are also join notifications. So when you join the server, it's going to say like, hey, you have rewards that you can claim and then click here. And then you can even automatically claim them. So yeah, then you can also reward and then claim. And then you can claim the different rewards just through the command. 
You can even test the different rewards. And also there's like AFK rewards that you can set up. So you don't need like the AFK pool plugin. All right, so now for the free version, I thought I would show you how I have it set up on my server random kits on Rux, or you should totally join. IP's like right up there. Wait, it'll, it'll show in a second. Yeah, right there, okay. So you can type slash rewards, obviously. And then, so for the free version, there are only like three different types. You got daily rewards, weekly rewards, and monthly rewards. So as you can see that since I have premium rewards, but if I use my, my owner script from last week, and then I type rewards, that like there's there's different stuff there, un, unavailable. So I just get like the, the default stuff. So I can like claim all this. Oh shoot, I have to spend time on the server. That, that's cool though. Like, you know, that like I give props to that. That's cool. Because like that way people can't just like claim it instantly and get it instantly. So that's cool. Wow, I really need to do something else with my life. Okay, so here we are back on the panel again. Yay, it's the panel. So much fun. And then right here we have our files. We can go into a plugins folder. And then you'll find the ultimate rewards folder. And then you got like all this good stuff, and you're like, what the heck is all this? So right here is your main config.yml. So there's plenty of good fun stuff in here. You can like set up a MySQL database to link it between multiple servers. And there's some other fun stuff in here too. And then we got the different rewards. So these are like all the different menus and stuff. Lots of fun in, in this folder. And then we have the, the GUIs. So GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. If you don't know that, then the S is because there are multiple. Because in the English language, you add the letter S after things to make it plural. So that's awesome. Awesome sauce. And then you even got Langfold file right here. So if you use a different language other than English, then you can change in here. You can even change like the prefix for the plugin not ultimate rewards there we go just somewhat ultimate and then right here we got random so you can make different random placeholders to make like specify different ranges to give like let's say you wanted yeah you wanted to like right here you you want to like give them a random amount so that that's fun but in life is anything truly random because like you know life is already like set and done in stone because yeah oh gosh so like everything that you're going to do is already known. It's like the universe knows what you're going to do. Man, now, well, so yeah, if we want to like make our own one of these, you can like just copy this and we can just call it another, another random. And then we can set a range. So this is using numbers. So you need to learn how to count. So let's say one to two. So that means you might get a one or a two. Perfect. And then you can use that as a placeholder and like a command to give them a certain one only within the plugin though and then right here we got referrals so you can like customize stuff with referrals here's your your user data i know how to read this because i'm actually a computer i'm a robot so i know what all this means and then right here you can customize stuff with votes so if you want to like make your own rewards, you can go into the rewards folder and then you can like copy one of these. So we're just going to make our own one time reward and we'll just call this one time only. And then like you can go into here and then so you got your different types. So like this is a one time reward. So this means you can do it once and then you can basically like customize the lore of the item in like the inventory. And then you can go down here to your actions. So like here are all your different console commands. So like if we wanted to, maybe you had a crate key you wanted to give people. So like crate key give player and the, the key, which we'll just say like reward key one. So there you go. Now, now they get the, the key for that. So that's how you can make your own rewards. So then you need to head into the, the GUIs.yml and we'll just go ahead and copy this. And then in here, we will just say like well, 13. That should be one time only. That's our file we made. And then we'll want to make this like something else. And then we'll well, go up here. And then so we can actually like add it to the menu. You can go to like one of these and we'll just, these are like the, the spots in the actual chest or the GUI. So we can just like copy this and we'll make it two and then you can just say like one time rewards again since we're just adding another one 
and then you will want to open one time reward one time only I know what I'm doing. You actually have to name this to the name of the, the file and the rewards. So, so now you're probably like, well, I want to look at the wiki. So here's the wiki. You can view it on the, 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 the spigot page. So yeah, here on the wiki, you can read more about it. You can even see the add-ons, which is literally just the advent calendar that I already talked about. And you can even like get some custom made configs if you want, instead of finding them like on the dark web. That's what I do. And then right here, you can even learn how to install it. I already showed you how to do this, though. You can see all the different commands. And then you can learn about configuring rewards. And you got like all these different examples. And this is basically already provided in the plugin. And you can even like use colored models. And you got an API. What does API stand for? Isn't it like application processing? Iguana, that's what it stands for. Yep. And then you even got TOS, that stands for Tuck of Shulker Box. Yep, that's what it stands for. Oh, we also got menus. So GUIs, if, if you remember anything from this video is what GUI stands for, it stands for graphical user interface. So lots of good stuff on this page. Well, here's the part of the video where I answer the question of should you buy this plugin? So first of all, I do really like this plugin. It feels really well put together and it's one of those plugins that has so many features and infinite possibilities. I think that having this plugin is one great way to reward your players for playing on your Minecraft server. So should you buy the premium version or just stick with the free version? If you want just daily, weekly, and monthly rewards, then you'll probably be just fine with the free version. But if you really want to take your rewards to the next level, then it's probably worth it for ultimate rewards. I will say that you get way more features on the premium version than the free version. I know I kind of came off sounding like I didn't have anything negative to say, but I genuinely can't think of anything that this plugin should have. It has like literally everything and then some. But what do you think about ultimate rewards? Let me know in the comments, not because I care about your thoughts, but because I want engagement, because engagement equals more views and more views equals more money. Okay, well, if you need help with this plugin, you should join the developers discord. You can also join mine too. Make sure to join both of my Minecraft servers and I'm going to go cry in the corner now. Happy crafting and I will see you on the other side. Peace out. That That's like clickbait right there. Like I was thinking, oh cool, I can I can give out discord rewards. No, just soon. So that, that could be never, honestly. That might be like 10 years. I probably won't even be doing Minecraft in 10 years. I'll have a wife and kids and yeah, I'll be like, I won't just like live in my parents' basement all the time. So I probably won't even be using this plugin by then.